I'm here to talk tonight about protests. Um, the president and his administration have promised us a surge in American manufacturing, and boy, have they delivered. Uh, specifically, the manufacturing of Sharpies, poster boards, and sticks. Um, it seems as though there is something new to protest here every day. And what do protests need? They need protest signs. Now, with Donald Trump having somewhere between one and four years left in his term, we have a lot more protests that are going to come. So it's important to know the right and the wrong way to make a lasting impression at your next march, rally, sit-in, bed-in, or drive-by. For starters, subtlety is not your friend when you're making a sign. This sign, for example, no one is going to read your novel about Obamacare. No one wants to read that, OK? Also, no matter how short your sign is, it's important to plan ahead. See, yeah, white nationalism is always longer than you think it's going to be. <laughs> and you got to leave room at the end for that exclamation point so people know you're still fun. <laughs> On the flip side, be sure to use all the space you have Whatever that cause is, you are not helping it. I promise you. Also, protests do not wait for the weather. Be sure to use a permanent marker if you're going to be marching in the rain. That sign could have changed the world, that last sign. But if Steve Bannon can't read it, how will he know that Muslims are a kind of human? <laughs> it cut to the drawing a lot earlier than I thought it would. A cool drawing is a great way to get attention for your cause, but it only works if you know how to draw. I think this is either supposed to be uh, representing Trump violating the emoluments clause by accepting money from Russia, or Dennis the Menace with giant fake boobs. I don't, either way, it's not getting the point across. Now, I know the last time a lot of you made a poster was in seventh grade. Give a thought to your font choices before you dive right in, OK, bud? Just Hitler, not traditionally spelled with a heart. <laughs> Germans tend to use umlauts, not hearts. That's a common misconception. In the end, the worst thing you can really do at a protest is to not show up at all. So please go have your voice heard, even if you just made Hitler look cute.